tweets or Bhardwaj hits out at BJP Amadmi Party MLA tweets video of security. He asks why paramilitary needed inside the house. He questions BJP's intention on poll day. On video, paramilitary enter MCD house. <laughs> Saurabh Bhardwaj, in fact, heading out at the BJP over the deployment of uh, paramilitary forces inside this house where the mayoral elections is set to take place. Ah, yeah, you can see that paramilitary forces are in the middle of the dress. The Bharti Janta Party has asked the government and the LG Saab has asked the LG. क्या कभी किसी सदन के अंदर देखा गया है कि जो रॉयट कंट्रोलिंग पुलिस होती है रॉयट कंट्रोलिंग फोर्स होती है जो कि लाठी चार्ज के लिए तैयार लाठियां लेके और शील्ड लेके जो है हेलमेट लेके जो है ये बुलाई गई है और ये हजारों की संख्या के अंदर ये जो है इस तरीके की फोर्स जो है पहली बार मुझे लगता है कि प्रजातंत्र में देखा जा रहा है कि गुंडागर्दी करके पुलिस के बल पे और डंडे और लाठी के बल पे भारतीय जनता पार्टी इस बार दिल्ली नगर निगम में कब्जा करने की कोशिश करेगी जो कि बहुत ज्यादा दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और शर्मनाक है इशिका लाइव विथ ज्वाइनिंग आउटसाइड द एम सी हाउस इशिका वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू नाउ सौरभ भारद्वाज हैज क्वेश्चन द डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेज एट द एम सी डी सेंटर नाउ लास्ट टाइम वी सॉ द काइंड ऑफ रकस uh that was created by both amadmi party as well as bjp now the question is will of course we saw the adjournment as well as a result of all the chaos now the questioning question is will the polls be conducted peacefully this time Yes, Radhika, right now I'm present inside the Civic Center and let me show you the kind of security that has been weaved up today. Seeing the ruckus that was in the house the last time, that is on January 6th, you can clearly see the, uh, the security deployment, the paramilitary force. that are deployed here and also I'd like to show you the visuals from here you can clearly see that the volunteers of both the parties have already arrived here now as you clearly mentioned that uh, Saurabh Bhadwaj has questioned this and to talk more on this we are being joined with the BJP spokesperson Harish Khurana ji sir uh, Saurabh Bhadwaj questioned the security deployment today and said that BJP is in fact trying you know uh, to establish force and uh, trying to go against the mandate of the party see last time everybody saw it that who created the ruckus in the in the house who has misbehaved with the with the uh, with the ladies who has thrown the tables uh, on on uh, the presiding officer so uh, police has uh, uh, intervened that today that this should not happen today and we would like to urge aam aadmi party today let the oath happen let the election of uh, mayor deputy mayor and standing committee members election should happen and whatever you are claiming that you have a 150 seats let it be decided by the house but why are you so much hurt, uh, worried about that why are you so much panic about that let the house decide who has who um, uh, who has a majority and today delhi also wants that the mayor should be elected today I don't know why you're creating a uh, uh, different point about points and things. So, sir, last know. time we saw the ruckus erupted in the house because the elder men took their oath first. This time also the elder men are going to take their oath first. So, what do you expect See, today, sir? See, we should sir? understand what the law says. Law clearly says that the presiding officer has the full right to uh, uh, decide who will take the oath first and who will take the oath second. My point is, taking oath first and taking oath second, ten minutes here and there, what does it make the difference? Let the oath happen. Whatever, why? end of the day those elected members and those uh, nominated members will have to take a oath then they'll they'll proceed for the elections why are you creating a ruckus that uh, why elderman is taking oath first that means your intention is something uh, faulty na you are in a gray you're talking about a gray, some some gray area we don't want that let the house preside let the house take their uh, own own course and uh, let the uh, election happen why are you so much worried if you have got the majority So as you clearly heard here, also the BJP is saying that all of this, the Aam Aadmi Party creating this drama, just showed that the party that is the majority right now is in a panic situation, and that is why you know they are saying that even on Saurabh Bhadwaj allegation of this force being deployed here by the BJP trying to turn over the mandate. Now they are saying that the.
drama that was created that could not, you know, make the house run smoothly. Today, to ensure that Delhi get its mayor, that is why the force is being deployed. But the bigger question today also remains, Radhika, that will Delhi get its mayor today or not? Because today as well, elder men are going to take their oath first. So we'll have to wait and watch for that. A lot of drama is definitely expected in the house. But the bigger question remains, will the, uh, will the Delhi get its mayor today or will the house be a again. Certainly. Will Delhi get its mayor today is the big question. Now we'll keep coming back to you on the developments inside the Delhi Civic Center. Ishika, thank you for all the details. In fact, uh, Mira Nauz Ishika spoke to our Madhmi Party mayor candidate Shelly O'Broy who struck a confident note. On January 6th, there was a ruckus in the house. What is your prediction for today? Because today also the elder men will be taking their oath first. See, uh, we all have got the notice and the invitation of the today's event and the, all the business items are given in that notice and invitation. So we are hoping that the uh, presiding officer will conduct the same procedure as given in the business items. Ma'am, uh, last time we also saw that Congress was walking out and uh, that is why the Aam Aadmi Party, your party, alleged that uh, you know, a deal has been you know, uh, struck between the, Aam, uh, the BJP and the Congress. Today, what do you think, ma'am, uh, what, what might be the Congress and how Congress move and how will it impact the Aam Aadmi Party? See, I won't be commenting on this right now, so we are hoping for the best and today we are hoping the mayor would be of Aam Aadmi Party, deputy mayor would be of Aam Aadmi Party and even we are going to get the chairman of the standing committee also today. In fact, listening to what Aam Aadmi Party MLA Atishi had to say about the polls today, she spoke exclusively to Times Network's Pulkit. Hangama, to your party didn't do it, right? Look, we only come from one thing. That the non-legal, non-samvidhanic, no one of the people's party should not be able to do it. We want to get the mayor in Delhi. 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 कानूनी और संविधानिक तरीके से मेयर का चुनाव हो लेकिन कैसे होगा क्योंकि आज भी ये बात कही जा रही है कि जहां पिछली बार सदन की कार्रवाई रुकी थी वहीं से शुरू होगी यानी कि चार लोगों ने शपथ ली थी पर सवाल ये नहीं है कि शपथ कौन लेगा और कब लेगा सवाल ये है कि नॉमिनेटेड मेंबर्स क्या मेयर के इलेक्शन में वोट डालेंगे क्योंकि भारतीय जनता पार्टी का पिछली बार ये षड्यंत्र था कि वो नॉमिनेटेड मेंबर से वोट डलवाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे जबकि संविधान बहुत स्पष्ट रूप से कहता है कि नॉमिनेटेड मेंबर्स वोट नहीं डाल सकते हैं एमसीडी एक्ट बहुत स्पष्ट रूप में कहता है कि नॉमिनेटेड मेंबर्स वोट नहीं डाल सकते हैं वही एक्ट ये भी तो कहता है ना कि पीठासीन अधिकारी का अधिकार होगा कि वो कब किसे वोट कराए ये कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का आर्टिकल टू आर है ये बहुत स्पष्ट रूप से कहता है प्रोवाइडेड दैट द पर्सन रेफर टू इन पैराग्राफ वन यानी नॉमिनेटेड मेंबर्स शेल नॉट हैव द राइट टू वोट इन द मीटिंग ऑफ द म्यूनिसिपैलिटी तो कानून बहुत स्पष्ट है इस मामले में अब सवाल ये है कि क्या भारतीय जनता पार्टी कानून का पालन करेगी टाइम्स नेटवर्क फुलकित ऑल्सो स्पोक टू बीजेपी मेयर कैंडिडेट रेखा गुप्ता लिसन इन ऑन जनवरी सिक्स पिछली बार का सीन आपको याद होगा कि किस तरीके से सदन के अंदर हंगामा हुआ था इस बार भी हंगामा होगा क्या देखिए मैं अपेक्षा तो यही करती हूँ आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं से कि कोई कारण ही नहीं है किसी प्रकार के हंगामे का उनको दिल्ली के हित में जो हम 250 पार्षद हैं जो 10 एल्डर मैन है उनकी शपथ को होने देना चाहिए शांतिपूर्वक उनमें उसमें किसी बात का ऑब्जेक्शन ही नहीं है शपथ हो पहले एल्डर मैन शपथ लेंगे कि मनोनीत एल्डरमैन शपथ लेंगे या पार्षद शपथ लेंगे जो चुन के ये प्रिजाइडिंग ऑफिसर जो है उसका पैरोगेटिव है वो किसको कहते हैं और मुझे लगता है कि नॉर्मली तो जहां से कार्रवाई छूटी थी पिछले हाउस में वहीं से शुरू होगी यानी कि पिछले हाउस में क्या हुआ था कि चार लोगों ने जो एल्डरमैन है उन्होंने शपथ ले ली थी यानी की वहीं से कार्रवाई शुरू होती है तो फिर हंगामा भी होगा क्यों हंगामा होना चाहिए ये देखिए मेरे पास डीएमसी एक्ट है और इसमें आर्टिक जो इनका सेक्शन 77 है इसमें क्लियरली मेंशन है कि प्रिजाइडिंग ऑफिसर का पैरोगेटिव है कि वो नॉमिनेटेड को पहले करे कि एल्डर मैन को पहले करे यदि एल्डर मैन पहले शपथ ले रहे हैं तो इसमें कोई ऑब्जेक्शन वाली बात नहीं अल्टीमेटली तो वो जायज है वो लेने ही है उनको शपथ तो पहले ये होना चाहिए मतलब आप सत्ता में हैं तो इसलिए मैं पहले ये होगा और पहले वो होगा प्रिजाइडिंग ऑफिसर संविधानिक पोस्ट है उसने अगर तय किया है कि जी पहले ये दस को दिला के एक तरफ करते हैं और फिर ढाई की होती है तो क्या दिक्कत है इसमें
आम आदमी पार्टी इसी को लेकर तो आरोप लगा रही है कि ये चाहते हैं यानी कि वो उनका इशारा आपकी तरफ है बीजेपी की तरफ है कि पहले शपथ लेने से आप उन दस एल्डरमैन के जरिए मेयर चुनावों में असर डालेंगे नहीं अगर ढाई के तुरंत बाद भी उन दस की शपथ होगी तो वो लेने नहीं देंगे क्या